afternoon. Is it Mr Hughes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, Mr Hughes, yeah. my name's Dominic Bishop and I'm one of the doctors and I work in the mental health part of the service. And I've been asked to come and see you today because the nurses and doctors on the ward have been quite worried about you. They keep talking about me. Really? Yeah, they go. They keep talking about me. What are they talking about? And what, what do you think they've been saying? I don't know, military or something, are they? Right. It's some military sort of hospital or something. Why do they bring me here? Mm-hmm. How long do you think you've been here, Mr Hughes? Oh, I don't know. I think I, I came in for some kind of check-up or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. You seem quite shaky at the moment and quite anxious. I don't like cats, do I? Why do you let the cats on the ward for? It's not hygienic, is it? They've got the fur everywhere, right. getting on my food, in my glass, everything. It's disgusting. Have you actually seen the cats? There's two of them. Right. They shouldn't be allowed to bring the pets to work, should they? No. I don't like cats. I don't like cats. Do you like cats? I don't like cats. I don't like cats in hospitals. It's no, not, not no, it's not hygienic, is it? No. It's not hygienic. Have you seen anything else strange or unusual or frightening over the last few days? Well, they're all talking and whispering about you, don't they? They talk about you. Right. Yeah. Any idea what they might be saying? Any idea why they might be doing that sort of thing? I don't know. I think it's something to do with the military, isn't it? Is it those guys standing around? Which guys is that? Those guys over there. OK. I can't actually see anyone over there at the moment. you better tell one of the soldiers, you know. He, he looks a bit dodgy, that one. I mean, you seem quite worried about sort of military well, and soldiers and things like that. Do you, do, you, do you believe that this is a hospital, Mr Hughes? I'm not sure if it is, you know. They're not all doctors, are they? I mean, I, I'm a doctor. I work within this hospital. And you're, you're perfectly safe. But, but they're I not get, all doctors here. Some I get the impression that you're quite worried about things at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah I don't know. Well, what do they want, what do they, why do they want me here? Can you remember why you came into the hospital? Check up. Check up. And why did they bring me here? Because my understanding is that you've actually had an operation. Oh, I don't know. Um, Can you remember any of that? Why do they let the cats on the ward? Can you, can you see a cat at the moment? Yeah, look, there's one over there. Look. Right. See the tabby one? Hmm. I can't actually see anything at the moment. No, look, he's just behind there, by that bloke. Where's he gone? How are you feeding him yourself, Mr Hughes? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Can I go home? Do you feel worried or confused at the moment? I don't know. Why, why, why are they whispering about me all the time? That's not right. That's not right, is it? Do you actually hear people talking to you or about you? No, they go in that room, don't they? They go in that room. Can you hear what they're saying? No, they're whispering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why would they be talking about you, though? Who's that bloke over there, then? Mm. You want to get the security, get the soldier, get him out. Okay. Mr Hughes, do you mind if I ask... He's thrown something over! He's thrown something over! Mr Hughes, Mr Where's Hughes, you're, you're quite safe in here. Okay. And something went under the chair. Okay. Where's it gone? Mr Hughes, you're, you're quite safe, genuinely. This is a hospital and I'm a doctor and there's, there's nothing here that's going to threaten or harm you. Okay. Can I ask you... Was a it a dummy? To me, you seem a little bit confused. OK. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't like cats. Can I ask you, what, what day is it today? I don't know. Tuesday. Is it Tuesday today? OK. And what's the date? 31st. Of what month? I don't know. I can't... I don't know where... Uh, I don't know. January. OK. And what, what year are we in at the moment? Um, oh, I don't know, 90, 96, 97, okay. is it? And the season? Uh, what did I say? Uh, January. Uh, um, winter. Winter. Okay. Winter, yeah, it must so be winter, winter, isn't it? Where, where are you at the moment? What, what do you think this place is? I don't know. I don't think they're real doctors, you know. Right. I don't think they're real doctors. Are they military doctors? This, this is a normal hospital. Yeah. Do you know what ward you're on? No. They go in that room, don't they? Mm. How about what floor? What floor of the building are we on? Well, I don't, oh, I, don't, oh, I, don't, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Why are you asking me all these questions? I don't know. Because to me, 
it seems like your memory is not quite as good as it should be. It's, you seem a little bit confused at the moment. So these are just routine questions that we ask to test that. Can I go thing. home? I think at the moment you, you've had an operation a couple of weeks, a couple of days ago, um, and you need treatment. Operation? Yeah. What operation? Oh, an operation on your hip. Can I ask, Mr Hughes, before you came into hospital, um, were you drinking alcohol? I can have a drink. Have you got a drink? Before you came into hospital, were you using alcohol at all? Whiskey. Right. I'll have a whiskey. Okay. Can I have a whiskey? Not at the moment. You're in the hospital. But before you came into the hospital, uh -huh. how much were you drinking, do you think, in an average, average day? Oh, I like a whiskey. I like a whiskey. Yeah. Every day? Oh, I might have one today, I don't think. But before you came into hospital? Were you drinking every day? Oh, I like a whiskey, yeah. yeah. I like a whiskey, yeah. And how much, how much would you drink on a daily basis, do you think? Oh, I don't know. They're nice, those bottles, aren't they? Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. In, in a week, how many uh, bottles do you reckon you would have got through on an average week? Oh, I don't know. It was, oh, it was six, seven, eight days a week, isn't it? Something like yeah. that, yeah. So yeah. a bottle a day? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nice whiskey. Do you yeah. like whiskey? In small amounts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I wonder whether what's happened is, because you've not had a drink over the last few days, that y your thoughts have become a bit confused and you've started to misinterpret things and that's why things are very frightening for you at the moment. I've been in a few days, I've been in a few days, yeah. 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 Can I go home? I think we need to do everything we can at the moment to get uh -huh. you well. Uh -huh. um, and I think part of that is about looking at the way that you're feeling at the moment, because you're clearly quite anxious. You're I quite, don't like cats. You know, you're anxious, you're shaky. You're quite worried about things, aren't you? I you're a little like bit cats. paranoid about things. No, I don't like the cats. But Mr Hughes, I think mm. some of these things that you're seeing, uh -huh. I think actually is your mind playing tricks on you. Because before you came into the hospital, you were drinking quite heavily and you've not had a drink for a couple of days. And what can happen is sometimes people can go into a withdrawal state and their mind can become confused, their ideas can become confused and frightening. They can be sweaty and shaky. They don't sleep very well. All Why these are there the cats on the ward? Yeah. I don't like cats. No. But I can reassure you that the, the doctors here are real doctors, the nurses are real nurses, this is a proper hospital. You're a real doctor? I am, yeah. We've all got your best interests at heart. And we just want to get you over this very difficult period. Why are there other people here then? Mr Hughes, if we try to start you on some medication to help with the way that you're feeling and these things that are going on, will you trust us and take that medication? Can I go home then? As soon as you're well enough to go home, we'll arrange that for you. But at the moment, I think you're not, you're not well and we need to help you with that. Because you can't go home feeling like this, can you? Oh, I don't like cats. No. I don't like cats. Mm. Have you ever had an episode like this before? Uh, I don't think I've ever been in a hospital before. I'm not sure. Before you, before you came into hospital, uh -huh. when you were drinking fairly heavily, did you ever have a day when you didn't have a drink? No, I like, I like a drink. And what, what time during the day would you start a drink? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Would you ever get shaky or anxious or sweaty if you didn't have a drink? Have a, have a sneaky one at lunchtime, wouldn't you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And would that make you feel a bit better? A oh, bit yeah. more settled? Medicinal, medicinal. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I think we know what's happening at the moment. Because you've not had the alcohol for a few days, it's caused you to become confused and we need to help you with that whilst keeping you in hospital and treating you for your physical health. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So we'll be writing you up for some medication to help with the, well, these symptoms. A real doctor. And honestly a real doctor. A real doctor. A real medication that will get you through the next few days, that will calm things down, stop frightening things happening and then as soon as you're well enough we'll discharge you home. Can I go into a ward without the cats though? I don't like cats. I think in this station it's um, very important to remain calm 
um, and to have a good rapport with the person to reassure them, um, to make sure that they understand that they're safe and that you're there to help them. Um, and I think try and have a conversation that flows quite gently and calmly because that will help the, the person remain calm as well. Try not to rely on simply asking a, a checklist um, because that makes it a rather artificial conversation. Um, I think it's good to acknowledge the physical symptoms that the person might be having. They might be sweaty, shaky, agitated. They may seem confused and to comment on those I think is, is helpful. Um, I think in terms of a cognitive assessment, what you want to show is that the person is disorientated in time and place, but this isn't about doing a full MMSE, um, because really you just want to highlight that you know the different features of delirium. Um, so those will be the fluctuating state of consciousness, the confusion, the sort of the transient psychotic symptoms, the paranoia, the visual hallucinations. So do, do comment on them when you pick them up to ensure that the examiner knows that you've recognised them.